I'm now going to make a nice choux pastry with a crunchy crumble topping. Inside the choux pastry we're going to have a nice dark mousse which has been infused with rosemary and ginger, just very delicately. And then it's going to be topped with a nice aerated mango mousse. So first of all I'm going to start making the choux pastry and for that I need to bring together to the boil water and butter. I'm then going to add um, combined flour, strong flour with cocoa powder. I'm only adding 5% cocoa powder to the mix so it doesn't make it too heavy. And the Calabout um, cocoa powder is perfect for this job because it's only slightly alkalised so you don't get that after bitter taste when you're eating the shoe pastry. So I'm just going to bring the butter and the water to the boil now. I'm going to stay with it, we don't want the water to evaporate too much, I just want it literally to melt the butter and just come gently to the boil. So as you can see now the water's starting to boil, the butter's melting, so I'm going to add now the flour and the cocoa powder. I'm going to quickly stir those together to make a nice smooth paste. So all my flour, butter and water are now blended together. I've put in the mix back on the stove, just moving it around just to evaporate as much water as I can. And you can see now, as the paste moves to the side of the pan, it's just moving away nice and gently. So this now needs to cool, and then we're going to blend in our eggs, our whole eggs. So I've just placed the cooked mix into a kitchen aid bowl. I'm going to place this just slowly turning on the machine to aid the cooling. And then when we're happy that's just cool for a few minutes, we're going to slowly add our whisked whole eggs. So our shoe pastry is now cooled slightly, so I'm now going to slowly add um, whisked whole eggs. Just slowly and gradually at a time. So I'm just taking the mix off the machine now. I haven't quite added all the eggs, I'm just giving that a good stir together. And then I'm just going to check that the mix falls back on the count of five. Perfect. So I won't add any more eggs now and I'm going to put that in a piping bag and start pi piping that onto my parchment paper. So using a plain nozzle, about one centimetre, I'm going to pipe small individual buns, shoe buns. Before these shoe buns are baked, we're just going to place on a nice disc of chocolate crumble. So for our crumble, it's very, very easy. Um, this is the mix partially blended together. It's just a blend of flour, demerara sugar, salt, and very, very cold butter. So we just place the ingredients on um, the KitchenAid and it blends to a nice smooth paste, but you've got the, of that granular texture of the demerara sugar. Once it's blended together, you just roll that out very thinly in between two sheets of silicone paper. This then needs to be refrigerated very well because it's too soft currently to actually cut and place on top of our shoe buns. So we have to cut the crumble as soon as it comes from the freezer because you'll see it defrost very, very quickly. So have a pellet knife ready handy and then just slip and place each disc on top of each shoe bun. Now these shoe buns now are going to get baked for about 15 minutes, about 180 degrees. So for the centre of my shoe buns, I've made a standard chocolate mousse with dark chocolate. But before I made the mousse up, I actually did a cold infusion with some rosemary and a little bit of fresh root ginger in the cream overnight. So for the topping of my shoe pastry, I'm actually going to make a nice mango mousse using a Calabout product called My Cryo. And this is a unique product which is 100% cocoa butter that's been freeze dried and it's used as a setting agent. I'm first of all um, going to make a creme patisserie, instead of using milk, using mango puree. So I'm going to warm that nice and gently on the stove to make sure I don't burn the base of the saucepan. While that's just coming to warm, I'm going to whisk together egg yolks and sugar and cream powder. So the mango puree has come to the boil now, so I'm going to slowly add that to the creamed sugar, egg yolks and cream powder. 
just a little bit of first to give it time to relax into a nice smooth paste and then the final part we can add much faster. Cool, the vivid colour and the smell of this mango is absolutely fantastic. With all these ingredients nicely blended together, I'm going to place them back into a saucepan and I'm going to put it back on the stove to, to totally cook out the cream powder. So at this stage, we then add our weighed out microio. This will seem very strange at first because this is total cocoa butter that melts very quickly. So you're going to get like a liquid based fat swimming on the top, just with a gentle whisk in the butter will totally melt in and again we'll get a nice smooth crematisserie base. We need then to let this cool down to 28 degrees and then we'll be ready to fold in our last ingredient which is semi whipped cream. So there we have our finished microwave mango mousse. So here we have our cooked chocolate shoe pastries and you can see that disc of crumble now is totally enveloped and cascaded right down each individual shoe bun. So now it's time to fill the shoe buns ready for service. So I'm just going to complete and make a hole in two of those and then we'll fill them first of all with our dark chocolate mousse. And then for the mango mousse I now have um, a star nozzle and I'm going to do a nice large rosette. So to complete this pastry, I'm now just going to make a small little chocolate decoration. So for our shoe decoration, I've got a piece of guitar sheet, clear acetate, and I've pre-splashed it with white and black coloured cocoa butter. So I've got some yellow here, so it would be just white and black. Just warm that either in a hot jug of water or warmed it through in a microwave, poured it onto a piece of paper and then just cooled it slightly with the toothbrush and then literally just splashed each individual colour separately. So that was done um, a while ago, so now it's totally set and now I can brush on my final colour. So I've got the yellow cocoa butter, it's not too hot, it's feeling probably about 38 degrees. I'm just giving it a bit of movement and crystallising it slightly on the wax paper. I don't want it to totally cover, I just want it to slightly show lines because I want to then brush on some gold creative powder which wants to see through the actual yellow cocoa butter. So uh, the yellow cocoa butter is now set so with a much much lighter softer brush I'm now going to dust on gold crater powder but this time I'm going to go completely over the whole sheet so that's just going to shine through in all the areas where there is currently no cocoa butter and now we're ready for a nice thin chocolate layer so again you do need tempered pre-crystallized chocolate I'm just going to ladle on the chocolate on one side of the decorated plastic and then we're just going to do a nice even spreading of the chocolate over all four corners. So as you can see now my chocolate is just about touch dry so it's a good time to cut because if I cut too late it would actually crack but if I cut too early then the two lines of the disc will actually join together. So it's just getting that happy medium of just touch dry. So just cutting through and then I now leave, need to leave this to set around 12 degrees for about an hour and then this will be safe to release from the coloured plastic. So our chocolate's nice and set now, it's had a good hour to crystallise so I can easily remove the plastic sheeting and you can see the individual pieces just pop out because they've been cut just at the right time and we can just place one nice and centrally on the top of each shoe bin. So there we have complete our shoe pastry with our dark and our mango mousse with our crisp chocolate crumble.